What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's the King Koopa and thank you for stopping by. So I got a good little video for you today. We finally got our Frankenstein heads in. These are 243 Cathedral Port heads that are going on our little single cab with the 6O, the 4L80, all wheel drive and nitrous. So it should be pretty fun. And uh, we spent, 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 a pr spent a pretty penny on these bad boys and I'm really excited. We sent these down to Frankenstein Engine Dynamics. They're down in Texas. It was like 1700 and some change out the door after a 10% coupon, but they did say it'll gain about 50 horsepower to the wheels on a naturally aspirated 6.0. So that's way more than what uh, I think you could get from Lincoln Felter heads. So I think Frankenstein is definitely one of the top dogs, maybe if not the best in the nation for uh, LS heads. They even sent them back in some pretty heavy duty boxes, all thumbed up individually. They weigh like 28 pounds once the head is in there. They did say it was going to take like six to eight weeks and it did take eight weeks to receive them back. I got them in a really nice condition. These things look like they should be hung on the wall. They're so clean and shiny. It did come with a free t-shirt, a bunch of stickers, and a handwritten note um, thanking me for the business. I did order the stage two package which has their porting service plus the larger valves on it as well and they do redeck the bottom of the surface. I think I'm at like a 63 cc compression compression combustion chain on the bottom which came out to like a 63 cc compression chamber because i think i already had like 15 thousand milled off of it before super happy with how it all turned out the only thing that i guess i can kind of complain about is that i figured that they were going to drill the rear steam vent port on the back of both heads so they left those alone which is it's still okay i'm not running any crazy horsepower or anything but i just kind of assumed i guess i should have told them or asked them to drill that out but i guess not not a big deal anyways let's check out the difference between the old setup and the new setup we are just a slight hair over 25 millimeters and the vertical is about 82 millimeters for the intake port we are looking at 30 millimeters wide and about 82 millimeters tall. For the exhaust port, we are looking at 40 millimeters wide at 29 millimeters high. For the exhaust port, we are looking at 44 millimeters wide and 39 millimeters tall. And a quick summary on those, the intake, we went from 25 millimeters wide to 30 millimeters wide. That's a gain of five right there. The height on the intake was 82 across the board, so that didn't change. But the exhaust, the exhaust is really where we're making our power at. The width of those exhaust ports, we went from 40, 40 millimeters wide to 44 millimeters wide. And the height, they went from 29 millimeters to 39 millimeters. So a gain of 10 millimeters right there, which is huge. Those intake ports are giant. <laughs> I have an inch and three quarter inch headers on the truck right now, which is probably gonna be the most restrictive part on the truck. So I'm wondering uh, if I should buy inch and seven eighths headers. But I guess once we're done, we'll have to put it on the dyno and see, and maybe see if I can find somebody to swap with me on some headers and see uh, what the power gains of that would be. But I mean, I'm definitely super impressed with their work. Like this intake port, it's huge, like I can fit my hand almost all the way in there. <laughs> Pretty big. <clears throat> oh, on a little side note, because I did not buy the springs from Frankenstein, I do have pack 660 springs that I had previously with the truck that are going to go back on these heads. They did send the retainers and the half moon clips and everything in a bag um, with the springs as well because they are not liable um, for installing those springs since they're not theirs. So understandable, I got to install the springs. They also sent all the old valves and stuff with it as well, which we don't even need those. It might be good to keep just for later down the road, just in case, but check these valves out. I mean, these things look huge. A lot of room for airflow right here. So more airflow means more fuel, which means more power, baby. Since we have these fancy new heads, we're going to be ditching the multi-layer steel exhaust gaskets. We're going to go with some Ream Flex. These are graphite. These work really well for boost. They have a 50% compress ratio. So when you torque it, it'll actually squeeze 
and fill in all the gaps. It says it's guaranteed to stop, guaranteed to stop all exhaust leaks. So um, these are a one time and done. So we're gonna upgrade to these bad boys. And I think that is pretty much a wrap, guys. I covered the heads and how much um, they took out. They took out a tremendous amount of material on them. So I'm super happy, excited to get these on the truck. We're hopefully gonna start assembling the motor next week. Get that all done, wrapped up. We have our 4L80 that is built sitting over there on the floor. We also have our 3600 to 3800 Circle D stall converter, and we have our all wheel drive transfer case. So, really, I just need to, to set some time aside, get this stuff done, get the truck back together, get her ripping and rolling, get her on the dyno, and start spraying some nitrous. Hopefully, I don't blow this thing up. <laughs> if I blow this up, I'm gonna cry and take the truck to the, the junkyard. So, no, but not really. Um, so I just wanted to say I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I hope you enjoy. I hope I gave you some insight on Frankenstein's heads. I got the link for their website in the description below. A big thank you to Frankenstein. They did some great work on those heads. I appreciate it. And they got them back to me within eight weeks. Thanks for watching, guys. Couldn't do this without you. Appreciate everything you guys do. Hope you guys are having a great day. And I'll catch you in next week's video. Peace.